Hi everybody, my name is Mark Ineson and um, I've been asked a few questions about uh, CRM uh, on, the, on the group so I thought I'd just do this video while I'm, I'm on the train travelling north this weekend so I thought I'd do this quick video uh, based on CRM which is uh, customer relationship management software and it, it, uh, the only reason I'm doing the video is because it's quicker than writing it out I think, and then I can just relink back to it if anyone asks the question it's just a nice way of doing it. So CRM, what is CRM? Well, CRM is how to track uh, your customers or your, your leads, as rather prospects, sorry, your leads. And what we do is, in the, in the old days, what we used to do, before computers were around, we used to buy box files and, um, or, or you know, the, uh, the, the ring binder files, and we'd keep all our customer record cards in the ring binder files, and every time we phoned them, we'd move the, uh, the, 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 the customer record card to the next date that we want to phone them again. So we'd have one to thirty-one, or if you're doing a week's worth, you'd have one to seven, and then you'd call him on the Wednesday and you'd uh, note down the notes that were taken, whether he made a sale, whether he didn't make a sale, that type of thing, and then call him the following week on the Wednesday. But put the card in the following week, and it became um, your to-do list because um, you've got the, a certain amount of record cards. And my reps in the old days, when we used to work in the, the uh, I used to work in the wholesale to retail market, so I would actually. Sell into the retailers, and I had a team of reps out there on the ground, and they'd have uh, 200 record customer record cards for a month's worth of work, and, and that's approximately. Uh, I mean, there's four weeks in a month, so that's approximately uh, 50 a, uh, a week, and and they'd visit eight if they could, eight a day, and the record card goes in the uh, start again the following month. You go see them again, and sell them more stuff, and that, that's the idea of the record card. It becomes your memory because. A month after you've seen somebody, you've forgotten uh, maybe what you've sold them, talked to them about, or any plans you've got in to do it. So um, that's what we uh, uh, use them for. So let's jump forward to when computers came about in the early 90s, and the, the customer record card that kind of disappeared a little bit, and we started using uh, spreadsheets. And Excel is a fantastic program for, uh, for for doing this, but you've got to kind of link it with a, a diary like Microsoft Outlook. And this was good, and lots of people did this, and they put a lot of alerts on Outlook as Outlook grew and, and became bigger. But those two programs have never quite matched together, and they never quite quite got it together really. Um, both good in their own right, but they never quite got it together. So developers developed a, uh, a system called CRM, which is Customer Relationship Management Software. And it's kind of a mixture of a spreadsheet and a calendar all into one with alarms and notes and stuff like that and it becomes CRM becomes your memory uh, effectively of your of your customer and uh, the, I've used a few CRMs I've used the, the most expensive one uh, that I can find which is Infusionsoft now and arguably Infusionsoft is the best on the market arguably uh, and I'm not I'm not, I'm not I'm not doubting that or debating that um, because it could be it's also one of the uh, most expensive um, and it, some, for some organisations it can come in at a couple of hundred pounds a month so it's, it can get quite expensive in fusion itself. Some of its own customers uh, find it confusing to use, hence the nickname Confusionsoft. So uh, there's that to bear in mind. So the learning curve on, on Infusionsoft is quite steep. It is very good and it is all seen all dancing but the, the trade-offs are that it's a couple hundred quid a month because it's, it's one of the best and it is uh, a, a very steep learning curve and some people don't ever get it, you know, they don't, uh, don't get it. So next one down then, let's say, uh, and there's lots of variations of these, I'm just do, you, you know, telling you the ones, or showing the ones that I've used. I'll just wait for this tannoy to go off. It's not annoying, is it? Thank you. So we're now arriving in Leeds, just in case you wondered. <clears throat> so the next one down then is uh, ACT by SAGE, A-C-T. Um, ACT is uh, a company that have been around quite a number of years doing CRM and it's now online. It's a £200 one-off charge, so uh, that's all you ever pay. And the guys at SAGE or that run the ACT helpline are based in Newcastle. Now it's a standalone system, we've got it in the business, so it, it works, it's okay. It, there's a trade-off that you've got to learn in Geordie because all the, all the helpline guys are up in Newcastle, but that's okay. That's, a, that's kind of one of the only trade-offs. It works, it's alright and it's, and it's reasonably good. Um, but it's a £200 uh, purchase. Um, the next one down is uh, the, the, the weekly kind of subscriber ones, like uh, 
per pound. Uh, well, I recommend less annoying CRM. It's you get 30 days free, and then it's a $10 a month product. Uh, there isn't really a help line, but you don't need it because the learning curve is, is so shallow. It's so easy to learn, it's ridiculous. And if, if you keep in touch, um, in fact, I'll maybe do a webinar on how to use uh, less annoying CRM at some point because it is uh, about 15 minutes to learn how to use it. A cracking system. I use it in one of my businesses. Um, so it's a great system for $10 a month. Um, it, the difference between that and a more complicated one is that the notes they take for the client or the prospect before they come into the business, so you're trying to track them, they stay on one page or you know, on one screen and they just scroll down and down and down. So it's impossible to lose them. They just stay on that one page. And that's the great thing about it. So it's very, very simple. Plus it integrates with uh, uh, an email marketing uh, autoresponder as well, which is actually free. So it, it does the um, <clears throat> it does the two things, the email marketing and it does uh, serum in, in uh, together as a back-end system. Now if you're starting really from scratch and you really haven't got a budget at all, then, then uh, free, I'd go for Zoho. Now Zoho is, uh, it's been free ever since I've known it. It's a, uh, the learning curve is quite steep. Don't, don't try and do everything on it when you first get it. So do do some studying and do some, there's a, a LinkedIn group on, uh, sorry, Zoho group on LinkedIn. Uh, it's probably better than the helpline. It's, it's a great group, and they've gone through probably all the problems that you'll, or the walls that you'll hit when you're trying to learn how to use it. It is quite complicated. It's not the easiest system in the world, but then again, it's free. So they're the, the, the kind of four different levels, I suppose. There's Infusionsoft at the top, arguably the best. Now put Salesforce in with that, because that's one of the best as well. Again, quite expensive. Salesforce is good if you've got teams. Uh, you know, you've got sales teams on the ground. So th those two are kind of at the top. <clears throat> then the uh, the monthly ones. Oh, sorry, then the standalone ones, which have got standalone charge, and then the monthly ones, and there's, there is quite a few, there's not just less annoying, there's quite a few other ones, uh, the capsule, the sugar, and stuff, that, that they're all um, those monthly fee ones, and then uh, the, for free, if you're starting from scratch, there's Zoho, which is a, a completely free one. So anyway, that's CRM, uh, I hope it helped, uh, I hope it helps the back-end systems for your business, and I hope you get some benefit from it, so my name's Mark Ironton, and I'll speak to you soon.